like yeah. poof. Yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling it. You, you, you see mine going poof? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You got to yes, calm that down. Of course, <laughs> Rand. <laughs> I would just tie the hair back today, ladies. Don't even try. <laughs> I, I'm going to hey, do it after, <laughs> after, after work today. I'm just going to tie it up because it is going to feel so soupy out there, not just throughout the morning, but also this afternoon. So what is the reason why it's feeling so uncomfortable? We have this area of low pressure moving across the mid-Atlantic region. So we're kind of set up in between a cold front and a warm front, otherwise known as the warm sector. And that's what's giving us, I like to call it a juicy air mass. That's what's keeping our winds flowing in out of the south. And those winds are actually helping to pump in a lot of moisture. So that's what we're feeling this morning. I like to call it the air that you can wear. This morning, our wake up numbers are well into the 70s. So still dealing with temperatures in the mid 70s near the state line, but upper 70s and still flirting with 80 degrees in Stevensville and Easton, both hanging on to 79. Our dew points right now are kind of close to that. Look at that. Uh, actually, this dew point in Stevensville is matching the air temperature, so the air is very saturated this morning, and it's going to stay that way this afternoon before it starts to steadily drop off this evening. Your hair cast, I mentioned this before, not looking great, unfortunately, ladies. So just tie up the hair. Don't even try. Today is a look at your pool cast. We are going to be dealing with those showers and storms drifting in throughout the second half of the day. So today is another day where you need to make sure you pay close attention to radar because these storms are going to start to fire up right around the two to three o'clock hour. Temperatures will be rising to 88 degrees by three o'clock today, but with the humidity involved, that's going to make it feel more like 90 95 out there this afternoon. Damaging wind, periods of heavy rain and hail up to about one inch in diameter will be the top concerns today. So today we will be under that marginal risk, that level one out of five, as we could encounter some strong storms, more likely for areas along the I-95 corridor and for points further southeast. Here's a look at future cast. It times it out for us right around one o'clock. We'll start to see an isolated storm pop up right around Annapolis. So over the bay and then as the afternoon goes on, we could encounter a few spotty storms here and there, especially northeast of the metro and for points up and down the eastern shore by nine to ten o'clock. We lose the heating, the sun sets and those storms diminish. High pressure builds back in. That is going to leave us with more sunshine throughout your Wednesday, lower humidity. It's going to feel more comfortable as we wrap up the week week and our stock the school event. Our first event is tomorrow and you can drop off any of your donations from 10 to 6 o'clock. We'll be taking donations through that hour or through that time frame. Temperatures will be rising into the mid 80s tomorrow afternoon, so we are going to be dealing with cooler temperatures, but quite seasonal for this time of year and the weather pattern cooperates as we stay dry, staying dry throughout Thursday and Friday with more in the way of sunshine highs near 90. A pleasant start to the weekend, but heating things back up into the mid 90s early next week. Back to you. All right, Stevie, thank you.